Today, we're going to talk about space. There was a big flap recently about how much space to leave after a period when you come to the end of a sentence. So in the old days when we worked on typewriters, you hit the space bar twice after a period, right? When we started using word processors instead of typewriters, the first thing they taught us on the word processor was one space after a period. Part of the job of being a copy editor is to take your extra space out. In the old days, you had to go to the printer, and the printer had to use a pair of tweezers and a bright light to take out the leading. Now it's just a matter of hitting the delete key to take out a space. We could look at some of the differences in spacing in these two publications, The New Yorker from 1978 and a recent issue of The New Yorker, just to see how different they look. I flipped this open coincidentally to the page where Roz Chast's very first cartoon ever ran. This was all done by hand, by counting pikas and characters. And this is all done by machine, frankly. Magic. It looks cleaner. But the old version has a lot of character, and I wouldn't give it up. The only thing, really, about leaving two spaces after a period is that it shows your age. It shows that you probably typed college papers back in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> so how old does that make you now? You're at least 60, right? <laughs> and if you want everyone to know that, it's fine. <laughs> Gives you character.